So in a blank Excel workbook, this is the very first sheet. Okay, so did everybody get a chance to complete the data set? Now, what, whatever text I'm typing right now is only for you to understand. You do not need to add it to your sheet. I'm just telling you what kind of comparison I'll be doing in F6. We'll be writing an if condition. And this if condition will be based on two conditions. So that's what one of the things I want to introduce to you, how to write multiple conditions in an if. So basically what I want to do here is I want to do an if condition. I want to compare the two values. I want to compare to see if the sales exceeds the target sales, yes or no. That's basically what I'm going after. And on top of that, the number of years with the company has to be at least two. So I'm going to write, I will write a formula here. And then I will update that formula to a better formula in the column next to it. So the formula will start with equals, followed by an if. And we are writing a condition. Since my condition is actually not one condition, but two conditions, because I said, if you look at my row number 16, that if sales exceeds target sales and the number of years with companies at least two, so in Excel, you write and right away, telling Excel that there will be multiple conditions to check. One condition to check would be to make sure that C6, which is my sales, exceeds D6, which is my target sales. So I'm comparing two values. And on top of that, the number of years, which is in E6, should be at least two. At least two means should be either greater than or equals to two. Now look at this condition very carefully again. I want everybody to pay attention to the condition. So we write and followed by one condition comma, and then we write the second condition. So the first condition is the location of the sales. That's in blue color. If that exceeds the location of the target sales, that's one condition. And we are ending that condition with that the number of years with company has to be greater than or equals to two, which in other words means at least two. So if both of these conditions are met, I said, I want to display the word yes. Otherwise, I want to display the word no. So the first value is if the condition is true, and the second value is if the condition is false. If sales does not exceed target, then the number of years is irrelevant. If the sales does exceeds target, but the number of years is not two, then again, the condition is invalid because and requires both parts or both parts of the condition to be true. Just like we say it in everyday life that I want this and that. That means I want both things. If I say if I want this or that, that means I want either of the two things. So, and works exactly the same way. Oh, I think I have this extra. Oh, that's fine, sorry. I had an extra parentheses after D6. Both conditions have to be in the same and, separated by comma. C6 greater than D6, comma E6 greater than equals to two. If both of these conditions are met, then yes, otherwise no. What is the problem? 
uh, with this formula right now based on the outputs that have been generated. Can anybody identify the problem with the formula in terms of the outputs that are generated and what I gave you on lines 16 and 17? Oh, so how can we fix this problem? Is to add multiple levels of conditions. So I will say equals to if and I will still have the two conditions. What is my condition number one? I need to make sure that my C6 exceeds my D6. My C6 exceeds my D6. And what's my other condition? Is my E6 has to be greater than or equals to two. That if both of these conditions are met, yes, that is what I'm looking for. But I should not jump to no right away. Rather, I will have another if condition in place of no. If E6 is less than two, then I must say not applicable. And if E6 is not less than two, only then I should say, no, the target did not meet. I know it sounds like a very, very long, crazy condition, but that's how you can like do step conditions or if else if conditions. So the first condition, if it's true, it goes with yes. If the first condition doesn't is not true, then it checks for another condition that before it comes up with a final answer of no, it wants to make sure that the number of years is not less than two. If it is less than two, that means we cannot apply this formula. Or, or we cannot um, check for target matter or not. And now uh, for Ali Food Services, it should say not applicable. Everybody else, it should either say yes or no. Okay. <laughs> 